One week's pay. It's the best I can do. Wait! Hey! You better find yourself someplace to hide and keep praying nobody ever finds you. Try these on. Look, you crazy mother. Put these on. Hey! Stay away from me. I'm telling you, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> Trying to save you and your family's life. You couldn't even save your own! I'm giving you a choice. Either put on these glasses or start eating that trash can. Not this year. Okay. All right. Okay. Come on. Come on! I don't want to fight you. Come on. I don't want to fight you. Stop it. No. Put on the glasses. Man, I told you, I didn't want to be in. You dirty motherfucker.
first son of a bitch to wake up out of their dream. What's that? Brother, life's a bitch. She's back in heat. Shalomwa. I want to say Kyle Lyon, La, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka Kodash. And uh, what's up, Israel? Today's lesson, uh, that fight, <laughs> I just wanted to show y'all that fight. An example of <clears throat> this movie is called They Live. It was made in 1988. And basically, you know, when he puts the glasses on, he can see the evil that's going on on the earth, he could see, you know, the Illuminati or the so-called evil Esau. All evil is revealed when you put the glasses on, right? And uh, you're no longer in the matrix. You're no longer living that lie. You can now see them even, and you can see when the brother put the glasses on, even when he looked up in the sky, he saw the chariots. He was even able to see the chariots. Everything came full circle. So this video is a quick example of how the word of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, in this movie is like the, the glasses is the word. And when you get the word, your eyes are open. And you can now see. And everything's revealed to you, right? The truth. But... Two-thirds of our people are going to fight and be ignorant against the word, right? Dude didn't want to put the glasses on. He didn't want to learn. He didn't want to see. Um, he just wanted to fight against it. So that's how the two-thirds are going to be when it comes to this, the truth. You know what I mean? We try to tell them the truth. Uh, they they scoff at us. They, they, talk, they talk about us. They call us crazy, right? Well, if you think that we're crazy and then, and if this doesn't make sense to you, what I'm saying, then just walk away. It's not for you. You know what I'm saying? The frequency is not for you. Don't worry about what we believe in then. But for those of you that can hear the truth and the frequency does resonate in your ear and in your soul and in your melanin and in your blood, then you know that this is for you and that Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah is sending the frequency to you because he sends it to all his Israelites. He that let him hear, let him hear. All right? So, let's see. I'm going to start with uh, Chronicles. It's First Chronicles. I think it's First Chronicles. Let's see. Yeah. Let me see. Maybe Second Chronicles. Is it Chronicles? Uh, let me see. Shalaki. Wondrous Works. Yes, it says uh, Chronicles 16. Chapter 1, verse 16, and I'm going to start with 8. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. All right? So we're supposed to make known his deeds among the people. Spread the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to the people and what he wants them to hear. But they don't be wanting to hear. They want to fight back against it. 
We need to sing unto the people, sing unto him, sing psalms unto the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. All right, tell the people of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. All right. So we need to give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Okay. Let me see. Go to Ezekiel uh, chapter 37. That makes you think about the dry bones, right? And um, in Ezekiel chapter 37, he... He tells, Yahweh tells Ezekiel to speak upon the people and bring them so that they can come back to life. I'll just read chapter 37, Ezekiel 3, and I'll go down from there. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy. Prophecy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. All right? Hear the word of the Lord. That's what we're doing, prophesying to these people out here. Hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So Ezekiel, number seven, this is Ezekiel. So I prophesy as I was commanded and as I prophesied, there was a noise and behold, a shaking and the bones came together, bone to bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. So the flesh came back upon the bones as he's prophesying to these bones, but there's still no breath in them. Then said he unto me, God unto Ezekiel, prophecy, prophecy unto the wind, prophecy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain, that they may live. Because these bones are dead, right? They don't have any breath in them. Now they have flesh on them, but they're still not alive. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Wow. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Y'all hear me out there, family? <laughs> then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. So that's what we're supposed to be doing, waking up. Waking up. Coming back to life. Behold, they say, our bones are dried and our, our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Therefore prophecy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, right? Israel, my people. Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Bring us back to life up out of our graves. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O oh, my people, my people, again, he says it, right? My people, which is Israel, and brought you up out of your graves and shall put my spirit in you and ye shall live and I shall place you in your own land 
Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, saith the Lord, Yahweh, our power. Praise your name, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? So that's what we're out here doing is uh, speaking to try to wake up the dry bones, which Most High let us know that is Israel. These bones are the whole house of Israel, all right? But the two-thirds are not going to hear the frequency of us trying to wake them up, all right? They're not trying to hear the frequency, so they want to fight. And, you know, the elder apostles, they've been, uh, elder apostles been teaching for years, you know what I mean? For over 35 years, the elder apostles have been teaching and fighting us and trying to wake us up all out of love and endurance. So every time another Israelite wakes up, it's our duty to pick up the plow and continue work and to try to wake up the next Israelite. And that's what we're supposed to do. That is our duty out here. All right. So. You know, that's why I played the video. You see how Jake, we fighting against the word. Two thirds don't want to hear. They want to fight against the word. And then uh, when they get an opportunity and they finally do see, it's like they wake up. And that's what all of us. At one point, all of us were sleeping. And now we're awake. And we each wake up on our own path because it's a narrow path to the to the righteousness, that narrow path, one at a time. But the elders have gone through the path before we have, the elders. So they have taught us, and now we walking through the path. And we walk through the narrow path. It's our job to speak the word of the Lord. And like it said in Chronicles uh, 16 and 8, uh, you know, make known his deeds to the people, right? And then in Ezekiel, once we make known his deeds to the people and we're speaking the word, they wake up, right? And that's the whole thing. They wake up. Like we all do. Matthew 11 and 15. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. All right? That's Yahweh Shai speaking. He that hath ears, let him hear. So we speak the word, and whoever hears the word will get the word. If they don't get it, then they will not. And that's just how it goes. Again, in Matthew 13 and 9, he hath ears to hear, let him hear. All right? So, I'll read the next one too. And the disciple came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Which is like code, right? Why does he speak to us in parables? And Yahweh Shai answered, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So if they can't hear the frequency, then it's not given to them. Plain and simple, all right? So it's our job to give the word. If they don't hear it, don't you don't have to keep fighting them like they did in their seed, right? He really fought them to try to get them to see and hear. But we're not going to go through all that anymore. The elder apostles have already been doing that for 35 years, been fighting for people to hear. And, you know, the ones that have woken up, wonderful. But we can't go through that with these scoffers and scorners. If they don't hear the frequency, it's the end times. So, you know, just keep moving. Send them down the street like the elder apostles said. But that's just a quick lesson, you know. He who has ears, let him hear. And, um, you know, the two thirds are going to fight against the word. And they're going to burn. They're not going to hear the frequency. And we're not going to fight them to get into this kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's promised to us. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. And we're going to keep pushing.